everybody thank you for joining us once again and supporting our channel I'm Kim Gow from Colour Passion today I thought we would do a play with a new color it's called real red it's a powder and it's really pretty it's vibrant um, I've been sort of looking for quite a long time now for to try and find a better red it's really difficult. You'd think it'd be easy, but it's not. There's so many different shades of powders, but uh, I mean, our, our uh, passion red or red passion, I mean, that's fabulous color, but um, to get it in a powder has been quite difficult. So uh, I've been on the hunt, as I said, for some time. So we've come up with this one. It's called Real Red. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. It's vibrant. Um, I'll keep looking if there's anything a bit deeper, but uh, for now, I'm, I'm actually quite happy with that. So we're going to have so, uh, play with that today in our pour, and I think we'll use the Molten Gold, which is a gorgeous product. Then, uh, and with this uh, resin, we're going to be using the Fast Cure Art Resin, the Colour Passion Resin. Uh, with uh, that resin, it, I mean, products lace really easily. So the Molten Gold does, and we're going to use the uh, Gold, sorry, Gold Ebony Metallic, because the Gold Ebony Metallic and the Molten Gold together are a match made in heaven. They're really lovely together. So we're gonna put those two together. We're gonna to use the Real Red, and I'm thinking maybe we might use the Base Cell White, and we'll just see what that does as well. So there we go. So that's what we're up to today. So let's go and have a play and uh, see what we can do with our Fast Cure Art Resin and our new Real Red. Okay, everybody, here we are. Um, I've got our brand new Real Red. Then we've got Gold Ebony Metallic, Molten Gold. And I thought what I'd do is put a bit of um, base white underneath. So we'll see what happens with that. Um, I haven't used the real red, it's a brand new colour, so let's see how this goes. It'll be quite interesting. Red and black always look really lovely together with a bit of gold. I don't want too much gold, but just enough to make it a bit interesting. And then we'll put the, the base white under some of it and see what happens. Okay. I'm just putting a bit more here into the gold ebony. Okay. Dribbling it a bit there, but it won't matter because obviously shortly it's all going to be covered anyway on the board. So now we just need to fix that. Our colours. That's interesting because this real red, it looks um, quite, well, almost orangey, I suppose, but when you add it, it and work with it, it actually is a really nice red. So, and it's, it's been so difficult actually to get a really nice red, like a true red. So, I'm hoping that you're going to like this as much as I am. Give it a good mix with the powder. It's got a shimmer to it, quite lovely. But like always with powders, paste, you must make sure you mix them thoroughly because you don't want unmixed particles in there. Okay, now we've got the gold ebony. Going to give that a bit of a stir, as always I do. Oh, it's probably about enough. I generally go by rule of thumb, roughly a cup full of a um, teaspoon of paste or powder. So pretty this. Now I have only poured 300 ml of resin. 
So I think that will be enough for this board. The board is 40 centimeters by 40 centimeters. So gorgeous gold. Oops, not that much. Wipe off the bottom, just leave what's left. And again, give it a good mix. It's like molten lava. Beautiful. Then we'll try some white. Again, giving it a good stir and mixing it in. It's quite liquid, this base white. It's just the nature of the, the mix. So it still works well and that's what it's all about. Okay, so now for with the base, we need to put it underneath colour. That's why it's called base on the base. So what I'm going to do is really just sort of just around. Let's see what happens. I've always been a fan of the top so white, I must confess. But let's use this today and see what we can create. Okay. Now, we're now just going to come over and pour. It's gorgeous gold ebony. really quite stunning okay, so what I think I'll do is I'll, I'll uh, hit it with a heat, heat gun and basically just let it do its thing okay I'm using the fast cure art resin the color passion one which I just absolutely love because I work fairly quickly anyway. We've still got at least a good 30 minutes, probably 25 in the summer. But let's see what happens here. You can see even with that little bit of heat, where the base white is underneath, the little, little tiny cells have popped up already. What I want to do is I want to basically pour it, dribble around. And then I'd prefer to play with it then. That red is absolutely gorgeous. It's running off a bit there, making a bit of a mess. So I think what I'll do is maybe just pour it like so. Just... With my, hands, whoop, with my hands, I'm just going to just sort of take it to the edge so it can run over. Because it just then releases that um, tension. Okay. Okay. Side. I like to make sure that all the edges are covered because then you're going to have a nice neat edge. It may not be important to some of you, but uh, it's important to me. I can just feel it. If it's sliding, then I know it's covered. And it gives something for the resin to hang on to. 
when it goes over. Okay. Wow, look at these little spots here. Mmm, looking interesting. Okay. Oops, certainly enough resin. Oops, for what we need. Dropping something else over here that's wet. Okay, so now we'll go with our heat gun. some over here it's so pretty when it mixes with the red really pretty I love that okay. it's lacing up beautifully And this is a different kind of cell. This is what happens with the base cell. So I'm not going to blow the uh, heat gun over that one. I'm just going to leave it, I think. Pushing that out. I actually really like this. I really love how... It's opened up here and you can see the dark underneath, the, the gold ebony. It's fabulous. But I'm really enjoying this type of uh, lacing as well, cell, cells. It's cool. So there we are. Loving that red. And I think with the gold and then with, with the gold ebony, I think it's really, really pretty. And you can see here too, um, some really nice lacing effects and I was tempted to push that over but I was so I really like that how it's mixed on the corner there so I think I'm going to leave that I might just see if I've got a little bit more red I might just put it here and push it over a bit and then let's see what happens if I push that over Oh dear, I keep knocking this. I've got another piece of work over here that a friend came and poured and my heat gun is sticking to, every time I move it, the heat gun is sticking to it, knocking it over. So we don't want that, she'll be upset. Okay, here we go. a little bit interesting as well what that did so it's sort of because there's obviously white underneath and I couldn't see that it's created these this little cell formulation there hmm. it's very very effective isn't it okay so what I'm going to do I've decided you know me I like my little bit of uh, glitz so as it were I'm just trying to think about what I'm going to put on there. Um, hmm. I'm actually thinking the russet might look nice on there or maybe a little bit of classical junk, uh, in, yeah, the silver and the gold, the classical chunky one. Hmm. Let's have a look. So again, I've taken my gloves off. I've just got my fingers so that I've got more control of where I'm going to put this. 
Oh yeah, that's really pretty. Just sort of following it up, 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 up. Don't want to obviously have it all over. Just little bits here and there. I just think it can really make a piece. And this was the right colour. I think it's really pretty. Put some of this here. Just over our little bit that we just pushed over. Maybe a little bit up there. Just so it balances it. So we've got a bit here, a bit here, there, there. Maybe, again, for balancing purposes, just a little bit down here. Not putting a huge amount on, just a little bit, but that's really pretty. Really happy with that. I hope you like it as much as I do. I won't get in and do my, my swirls and things. I think I'm just going to leave it and uh, see how that cures. And we shall do a reveal tomorrow. Okay, here we are. We're doing our reveal for our pour that I did yesterday afternoon. Unfortunately, it's pouring with rain outside. It's just miserable and cloudy. So today, uh, we'll be doing it inside. I'm really happy with the way this turned out. I'm happy with the little bits of sparkle through it. I think that makes it. Loving the red, which is what we were trialling for the first time. And then we've got our molten gold. Loving what it's done here. And um, we've also got um, the base white. Now the base white, you can see it's different kind of cells. Um, and I didn't really put a lot on there, but it's, it's come back up through and you can see here. I think next time what I would do is I would put the tape around because I work fairly fast, even though this is a fast cure resin. Uh, I think I certainly had lots of time. So next time I think I would put tape around it so that it doesn't sort of drool over the edge, which I yeah, I didn't allow for that. But anyway, it still turned out pretty. But I think, you know, if I could have captured them a bit more up here instead of running off, I think that would have been perhaps a, a little bit nicer. But very happy with it. I'm just going to pop you down now and show you in the light a little bit closer up. That is our amazing russet colour shift. You can see it there. And that is the one that we used. Then you come down. Beautiful little sparkles there, love them. And some really nice lacing there with that molten gold. It seems to lace really well, that product. Love it. And then coming across, we've got some <coughs> different kind of lacing here as well with the molten gold. Really happy with that. And a little bit of sparkle over here. A bit hard to see because the light's not quite stretching that far, but I'm sure you get the idea. I'm loving that little, little section just here. Again, with the little bits of sparkle, I think that makes it. And down the bottom as well. So all in all, I'm, I'm really quite happy with this and I hope you like it as much as I do. Please uh, leave me a message and let me know what you think. If there's anything you'd like to see or anything that you would like to do a bit different uh, next time. I actually have got something in mind uh, for the next tutorial and it's very different. So that'll be a couple of weeks away. So look forward to doing that for you. And we've got all sorts of bits and pieces, you know, on the agenda for what we want to do in the coming future. So stay tuned. And if you haven't already subscribed, please do and hit that notifications bell so that you get notified every time we release a tutorial. Okay, everybody, I hope you've had a wonderful week behind you and I hope you've got a great one ahead. So remember, if you don't give it a go, you'll never, never know. So what are you waiting for? Okay, everybody. Bye for now.